Hey everybody, it's Monday and we're back with a new project for you today. I just got off of my husband's um, educational hour showing the project and I'm going to post it here uh, for those of you who weren't able to tune in or for those of you who were watching but wanted to do the project later on. We talked about self-expression as his word of the day, so I thought it'd be fun to do these fun masks that are a perfect way to express yourself through colors, through um, facial expressions, through the tiny details. Um, this project idea was actually sent to me from a friend of mine that I went to art school with at, uh, shout out to Alfred University School of Art and Design and my friend Deb who um, gave me this fun idea. So I thought today was the perfect day for this. The supplies that you need are very simple. We found some cardboard boxes on the house, so you just need um, some cardboard. Um, it can be, you know, from a cereal box. It can be um, from a box, a shipping box. It can be like the back of a notebook, any kind of um, cardboard. And we've got some markers. Um, we've also got some crayons. You can use paint, colored pencils, whatever you have around to add your colors. Um, and then, so all we did is we started with our face, the, the shape of our head. Um, I did uh, like an oval shape on this one. Um, this one is kind of like a, a slanted SpongeBob <laughs> shape. Um, you can do anything you want. And then we colored just the head first. Um, use whatever colors you want. Remember, this is about self-expression. So these are the colors that make you happy or whatever the mood is that you're feeling right now um, that you want to express. You use those colors um, that tell us something about you. And so we colored the whole thing. You can see the whole entire shape of the head is colored. And then we cut that out, whatever the shape was. Then we took the scrap pieces of our cardboard that we didn't use, or if you don't have enough scrap, find another piece of cardboard that you can use. Um, and so we kind of made some kind of fun shapes. And these are the shapes that we used for um, like our eyes. I put a hat on mine because I love to wear hats. I've got green eyes, I've got green eyes. I added some eyebrows, a nose, a mouth. Um, an ear. I've got a little side ponytail here for my blonde hair. Um, and then I added some details um, with a white crayon, some swirls here. Um, so there's a lot of different things you can do, but I definitely took some of my own personal traits and added it in here. Um, so that's what I want you to do with this project. So I have some really funky shapes. Nothing needs to be symmetrical, which means it would be the same on both sides. Um, and we want it to be asymmetrical, which means it's different on both sides because that just makes it more fun and interesting to look at. And um, yeah, just uh, scissors, cardboard, anything you want to color with, any kind of glue or tape or whatever you have around the house to um, stick these things together. And then just have a ton of fun with it, okay? Here's my example. I would love to see what you come up with. You might do a couple different masks based on different things you want to express. Um, post the pictures in my comments so I can see what you've done and I'll add them to my online gallery. All right, guys, have fun with this project today. Again, Dad, thank you for the idea and I can't wait to see what you did. All right, bye, guys.